What's up gamers, how you doing? It's John. In this video, I wanna talk about Dance Dance Revolution, also known as DDR. And I wanna show you this cool emulator. It's called Step Mania. Shout out to my good friend, Kirk, AKA Qbert Addict one here on YouTube. And he hooked me up with this, this emulator with literally thousands of, of songs that you can play, including fan-made songs, which is cool. And an option to actually make your own DDR song as well. If you're wondering, how do you control this? How do you play it? Don't you need a dance pad? Yes, it helps if you have a dance pad, for sure, right? You can use a dance pad from, you know, old school retro console like the PlayStation 2, etc. You can use that, of course. As long as it has a USB uh, port, you should be able to use it. Uh, you can purchase third-party dance pads that are a little more heavy-duty, and those go for several hundred dollars, but they're pretty cool. They have the, the, the get guard and everything like that, the rail guard you can hold on to while you're dancing. And those are really pretty, pretty good, top-notch. Recently, I did a review on the DDR Mini console or arcade, and they came with these mini dance pads. So you use your fingers, which is sweet. And there's two of them, and they are USB connected. And through these little hand dance pads, you can actually control it as well. So not quite the same experience. Granted, you know, obviously it's more fun when you're, you're actually dancing on it. But uh, I've been playing this for a little bit with the, the hands, and it works quite well. I've got good, strong fingers now because I've been playing it for some time. But shout out again to Kirk, did a great job with this, uh, and you can change the interface to kind of match whatever style of DDR game it is, which is nice, and it's super simple to find games. So let's take a closer look at it. Let me know what you guys think of DDR in general. Were you guys big fans of it growing up? It's been around for, for quite some time, uh, obviously huge in North America, huge in Japan, and there's been spinoffs and other companies, and it kind of really started the whole uh, Guitar Hero style of games, which I love, the music rhythm games. It's one of my favorite genre of video games. Thanks for watching, guys, and let's take a closer look. Here it is, Step Mini Emulator, and I'm actually really impressed by this emulator. What's really cool, you notice here it's playing in 16 by 9 ratio, aspect ratio. You can set it to 4 by 3 as well, but it looks really good, 16 by 9. It looks really solid, pretty high resolution, and... There's different options here. You can change, you know, if it's uh, songs per play, allowed stage time, etc., uh, video mode, uh, all that good stuff. There's a lot of different options you have through it. I'm using my mini dance pad. In the very bottom, there's a couple arrows and a green button and a red button. So I'm using that to kind of move left and right, my action button. So I'm using this all using that mini dance pad. If you had a real life dance pad, you could use the same thing as well. First thing is to select the, the language. Obviously, I choose English. There's doubles or singles, there's also versus mode. You can hook up two dance pads at the same time, just like the standard DDR or dancing rhythm game. Since I'm the only one playing, I'll choose single player. I will be the first to admit I am terrible at these dance rhythm games, especially dancing in public. And I do find it a good source of exercise, and it's awesome. But here you are, this is a DDR collection. These are games that have been released throughout the years on various DDR games and, and, and versions of the game released throughout the years. All alphabetical. From my knowledge, I don't believe you can search by title, which is under, uh, unfortunate, but uh, pretty easy by uh, alphabetical. This is uh, one of my favorite songs, Butterfly. You'll notice there on the top left corner, it shows you the different difficulty modes as well. I'm going to choose easy because even with my fingers, it's super hard. I find even the medium mode a little challenging, but that's what I like about DDR. It's, it is hard and challenging. Um, one thing really cool about the Step Mania emulator is it will allow you to do animated backgrounds which is cool and you'll see in a second that there's been custom people have created custom songs and, and i'll show you that in a second but this all the songs on ddr and any of these dance g rhythm games are, are super catchy and really poppy and just make you want to dance hence why it's called dance dance a revolution i suppose right but yeah the song you can see there in the, my power meter there in the top left corner let's choose a different song here i obviously don't have time to go through every single song that's on here there are hundreds but you can see, uh, see if you recognize any of these titles. What's your guys' favorite DDR song? Let me know in the comment section below. Groove 2001, there's Groove. Higher, and there's a second higher song. That's, that's interesting, must be on a second game as well. Let's try this one. You can see there's four different difficulty modes, one being the easiest, seven being expert, but some of these songs can go up to a 10 on expert low mode and obviously very, very challenging. But I've seen people play DDR in real person, in person, I've just been blown away on their skill level. People are really into 
these games, which I think is great. Like I said before, I think it's a great sense of uh, way to extras as well. That was on medium mode, by the way, and it just shows you how terrible I am. I failed it pretty quickly. Here's another song. We'll, we'll stick to the beginner mode. This is a miracle. Really quick to load, as you notice. And I love these rhythm games. I mean, Guitar Hero, Rock Band, all those games wouldn't be out, honestly, if it wasn't for the success Konami had with their DDR franchise. There's other games like Pump It Up and other arcade companies have released. I mean, kind of knockoffs, and they're still really fun games, don't get me wrong, but DDR is really one of the original ones, at least to hit the North America and really make a huge name for itself in other countries. I want to show you another section here. It's called Scene Collection. Uh, this is a really cool collection. These are actually people who fan made and uploaded their own songs, right? And there's a way to do it. I'll show you here later in the video how to do that. Uh, the option anyway. I've not experimented with that. But you can also... There's some really cool songs on here. Um, some of them I can't really play for, for copyright reasons, unfortunately. But you can see there's Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, which is great. Black and White, also by Michael Jackson. And a lot of games and titles that you'll, you'll recognize. Obviously a lot of dance songs as well. A lot of these dance songs and pop songs I don't recognize, to be honest with you, but they're really catchy and and fun nonetheless. Let's try to pick a good song for you guys. Literally thousands of these songs too on here. There's oh, look at the challenge up to ten. This song can get very hard, Calendar Girl. Uh, but they're literally thousands. I think he mentioned there's. Over a thousand of these songs or more. I mean, there's 50 gigs, at least, of data of this that I have these songs to give you an idea of how many there are. And even though the song can get very challenging, the British song, even on, on easy, is almost too easy. Um, but you can set it up, you know, when you when you upload your, your own song. And again, really fun backgrounds and, and dance things. And being the aspect ratio, it's a lot wider screen. It looks really good. It doesn't look stretched. Sometimes you take a 4x3 and you stretch it. To 16 by 9 it kind of feels like it's stretched that's not the case here the step mania emulator has done a really fantastic job doing that one thing i think is really neat is when people customize their songs and upload them they can customize the background visuals as well so for example if you're playing michael jackson you can have a music video playing the background so if you're playing billy jean and we'll show the video get a video of billy jean i was hoping to show you that in the video unfortunately even with the music muted the video because of the video it's copywritten so i'm not going to show you that but this song right here is one from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and this particular guy who uploaded, or gal who uploaded this, decided to change the background. They could have done visuals from the show, and said so they had these kind of weird looking dancing bears, but I love the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I love the theme song of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers as a kid. I think it's one of the best theme songs of any show in the 90s, and it's really cool that someone uploaded this as an example. One really neat thing about the Step Mania as well, last thing I'm gonna show you, is there is an area you can actually customize and uh, this is how you do it, as I mentioned before. Uh, you set, first of all, you do the settings, and you can edit o your own track. So once you upload your song, it'll, it'll basically allow you to put and kind of place each arrow where you want it and where you want to hit it. You can set different difficulties, beginner mode, etc. cetera. Uh, pretty complex. I haven't really messed around with it too much, to be honest with you, but this kind of example just kind of show you where you place each of the arrows. So if you're into the DDR, you're into that, Step Mini is definitely something to check out. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving a comment, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. And of course, game on.